Hi everyone, Khalid Maidan here, welcoming you back to Clinical Physio. Here's our top five tips for patellofemoral pain syndrome. Top tip number one is to recognize the common aggravating factors associated with this condition that your patient may well report in their subjective history. Common aggravating factors involve activities where the knee is being loaded anteriorly, such as going up the stairs or squatting like so where the knees move over and beyond the toes. These activities can lead to increased compression of the patella in the femoral groove, which can lead to increased pain. Top tip number two is to take your patient through a Thomas test for hip flexor and or quadriceps tightness, as this is a common feature of patients with patellofemoral pain syndrome. Here is a stretch you may give your patient who presents with this feature, remembering that extending the hip will stretch the hip flexors. Top tip number three is to consider gluteus medius strengthening exercises. Weakness in the glute med muscle leads to an increase in hip adduction and internal rotation, which leads to increased loading of the patellofemoral joint. Exercises such as a backward step up, hip abduction with a theraband, or crab walking can all help strengthen the gluteal muscles. Top tip number four is to consider VMO strengthening exercises to promote increased stabilization of the patella during movement. If you do wish to give VMO strengthening exercises, squeezing a ball between the feet during an inner range quadriceps movement is a good option. Top tip number five is to consider giving your patient a wall squat as a part of their exercise program, which if done correctly can be extremely beneficial. As you can see in this first video, this patient's feet are behind their knees, which puts more weight through the toes and more pressure through the anterior aspect of the knee, so please don't replicate this. In this second video, the patient's feet are much further forward, so the knees are not in front of the feet, and there is a towel underneath the toes to transfer weight to the heels and thus away from the anterior knee. This increases activation of the posterior chain, including the hamstrings and the glutes, and reduces irritation on the patellofemoral joint. Make sure, however, that you only ask your patient to dip as far as their pain allows. So that's all from me. Thank you so much for listening and for all our top tips. Join us again at clinicalphysio.com.